Breaking news where Derek Chauvin has been found guilty on all three counts in the death of George Floyd. The jury handing down this verdict just a short time ago. We want to give you a live look in Minneapolis. This is outside of the courthouse where you can see large crowds are now gathering. We have live team coverage of today's verdict. Sheena Lusciuto spoke to local activists about today's verdict. But first, Target 12 investigator Tim White joining us now with the breaking details. Tim. Mike and Kim jurors had three charges to consider here. Second degree unintentional murder, third degree murder and second degree manslaughter. After just about 10 hours of deliberation, the jury of 12 people decided former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin was guilty of all three. Now, defense attorneys needed to just plant the seed of doubt in one juror's mind beyond a reasonable doubt that would have triggered a hung jury. A verdict required a unanimous decision. Prosecutors had to prove that Chauvin's use of force on May 25th last year was unreasonable and that his actions were a substantial factor in Floyd's death. Let's talk about sentencing here as we look forward. Under Minnesota guidelines, a first time offender could get up to 12 and a half years in prison for second degree unintentional murder as well as third degree murder. Second degree manslaughter is up to four years in in prison. But prosecutors have also introduced a series of aggravating factors. For instance, a charge of committing a crime in front of a child. That could add to that sentence. The jury of 12 people was made up of five men and seven women. Six are white, four are black, and two are multiracial. George Floyd's brother was in the courtroom when the verdict was read. Here is that moment. We, the jury, in the above entitled matter as to count one, unintentional second degree murder while committing a felony. Find the defendant guilty. Find the defendant guilty. Find the defendant guilty. Now, sentencing is not happening today. Again, the government put forward aggravating factors that have to be weighed. Chauvin will be sentenced in about eight weeks, according to the judge. But Chauvin was taken into custody today. The judge remanded his bail following the verdict.